Hi, everyone. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and I want to really thank NABTU for the chance to join you today, even if it's virtual, to my dear friend, President Sean McGarvey, to Secretary Treasurer Brent Booker, and to the Governing Board of Presidents. Thank you all for your great leadership during this most difficult year. We know this is a time of immense challenge and immense opportunity for working families, for our great construction trades. As we overcome COVID, we can't be simply, simply happy with going back to the way things were before. For years, union workers have worked harder and harder, only to fall further and further behind while businesses make it harder for unions to organize and working families to earn a good living. We can't let that continue any longer. With President Biden in the White House, with Democratic majority in the House and Senator Chuck Schumer as finally the majority leader, and thank you, NABTU, for helping me get there. We're going to make it clear once again that unions made the middle class, and it's time we lift up union working families again. We got a lot of things going done for working families in the American Rescue Plan. I worked with your leadership and fought real hard to get them against long odds, but we did. Not only did we secure a third round of stimulus checks, not only did we expand the child tax credit to as much as $3,600 a year for most families, but we also went to bat, fought hard, and won on a lot of important union priorities, like making sure COBRA is funded at 100% during the duration of this crisis. When people have lost their jobs or get paid less, they can't pay for COBRA, but they need that health insurance. We got it for them. Sean and so many of you had worked so hard with us to finally get pension reform, multi-employer pension reform into law so that our workers can see their hard work pay off in retirement without cutting any benefits. So many construction workers in New York came to me and said, you know, I need this pension. I could live without it, but my wife can't. My husband can't, my parents can't, my kids can't. We need it. And we did it. We finally did it. And I no, no, no one worked harder for it than me because I love you. And I don't want to see our great construction workers who put in money week after week, knowing that they could retire and live in a life of decency, see those benefits cut and the rug pulled out from under them. So we got it done. Yes, these are historic accomplishments but we got to do a lot more. I promise we will continue to work on legislation that will reverse the worst labor abuses in the past few years. And if we can pass the PRO Act, it would be great. I'm going to work so hard to get that done because once America is unionized, once we can stop the bosses from undoing unions and create more unions uh, along the way, get rid of those scabs, the middle class will be so much stronger. And so we need to get that PRO Act done. We're also going to work hard to pass the American Jobs Plan. That's going to be the largest investment in workers and in construction in our lifetime. It's going to devote hundreds of billions of dollars to fix our highways, roads, and bridges. Money for public transportation. We're going to see cranes everywhere. Workers, construction workers everywhere. We're going to need many more. Overtime is going to be plentiful if we get this done. And we want to make sure that any infrastructure package comes with ironclad Davis-Bacon provisions. So workers will earn a prevailing wage. We're not going to let the scabs get around it. President Biden's plan will also build, preserve, and retrofit 2 million homes and commercial buildings, modernize our nation's schools and child care facilities, upgrade veterans' hospital and federal buildings, this is federal dollars. Every dollar of it should be with union labor. And that's what we're going to fight for. And that's just the start. In the weeks and months ahead, all of us are going to have to work together to turn that vision of the American Jobs Plan into reality. We're going to need you to talk to all of the senators on both sides of the aisle to make sure they vote for this. And I promise to stand by your side every day I serve as majority leader. I'm well aware of how important NAPTU and the construction trades were in getting our Democratic majority there, and we will not forget you. And we'll work together. I'm confident we can get our country back on, on track. We can provide millions of new good-paying union jobs to America. 
and help our existing union workers get a great salary and a great life. Thank you and stay safe.